right, guys, thanks for clicking on the video. Today's weather outside is pretty shitty, so I said, what better day than to come back here and shoot a video? The severance sale just ended just hours ago last night. So it's time to show a little bit of love to Severin. And I'll go over some of the releases that I do have. And, uh, and I'm telling you, I went way overboard with uh, taking advantage of that sale. That's definitely the uh, the biggest order I've ever placed for anything all at once. That was a hell of a weekend, but super excited. So, guys, this probably is going to be a little bit of a lengthy video. Please feel free to watch it in different parts um, in increments if you want to. I don't blame you for doing so. I have a bad tendency to sit in here and ramble. But I have a lot of fun doing this, and it's just something I love. So, anyway, guys, please feel free to grab yourself a snack, get something to drink, get comfortable. Let's have a little bit of fun. So, uh, let's get down to business. All right, guys. So, uh, as everybody knows, the, uh, the I almost said vinegar syndrome. The severance sale was from, I believe, that started Thursday night, midnight, well, technically Friday. And went all the way up till uh, last night. I know the time zones must have been a little bit different because I was sitting there watching it as it was supposed to. The site was supposed to shut down. Um, I think it's, they said 11.59 p.m. Uh, Monday night. And I noticed on my end that this, the page wasn't taken down until uh, 3 a.m. Um, I believe it was 3 a.m. Um, I had got on there. Me, uh, of course, Alan was was on Messenger, going back and forth, and Alan's like, "Hey, I'm gonna go. Uh, I think I'm gonna grab cruel, cruel Jaws right quick, just for the hell of it." And I was like, "Damn, you're gonna grab that? Well, let me go in there and grab it." And it was literally like eleven. Uh, it was like eleven fifty six, eleven fifty seven, something like that. I mean, just literally, I was thinking it was just the site's about to shut down before I can even get a chance in there and grab a copy. Since he's grabbing one, we'll have something to watch together. But uh, checked out, and everything went good, and I kind of noticed. I was just kind of going through the site i put six orders in no shit just went crazy sitting here in this room friday night uh wasn't on there thursday night at midnight or friday morning it was finally got some downtime came back here was relaxed and i was like you know what Severs doing their their sale right now i don't really plan on buying anything if i do buy something maybe i throw a hundred bucks at it just for the hell of it that way i got something to look forward to um, of something coming in. Let's see what new releases they're announcing. Plus, not to mention, they got that secret title. I was watching Master Chaos, uh, Aaron Penn, you know, all the usual YouTubers I love to watch, and they were going over um, a lot of stuff. So, when I'm watching them, I'm getting amped up at the same time as well. And um, I know Donato, he is a very big uh, Severn Films fan, and uh, I know he buys a lot of stuff during the sales and stuff like that. So, I was like, well, it's, it's time to. I don't know a whole lot about this company, and I only have just a stack of stuff. So it's it's time to time to break that. Let's let's get in there and let's see what they really got to offer. And I did I ever, holy shit! So I sat back here Friday night, made a huge order, fucking huge order. Only thing I remember was I was just sitting back here. I was like, well, that looks cool. Let me look up a trailer for this right quick. Let me read a review on this. And by the time I just went through that first initial run, putting a bunch of stuff in there. I went to go check out. It was like fucking four hundred dollars. I was like, Jesus! Like I, I was only gonna spend like a hundred, but oh well. So I checked out. Next night, Saturday night, I'm at work. Got a little bit of downtime. Looked on there again. There goes another two hundred bucks. So that was Saturday night. Sunday night, I'm right back at work again. Got a little bit of downtime, and I'm like, Well, the sale's gonna go off probably tomorrow at Monday. I wasn't really for sure whether the sale was gonna go off Sunday night at midnight or whether it was gonna go off Monday. Just kind of like how Vinegar Syndrome does theirs. So I placed more orders again. I think I went in there and popped another $75 order, another $50 order. And then last night sitting at the table, the sale was literally about to go off. It was 11 o'clock my time here in Georgia. Went in there, threw another $60 order on top of it. And then Alan hits me up. It's like, I'm buying Cruel Jaws just for the hell of it. I don't have it. And I was like, it's only 15 bucks. Threw another one right on top of it. So six orders and all. Got a big box of shit coming. Don't know if they'll be, and I bought a lot of merch too. I bought, uh, I think I bought like four t-shirts. Uh, I bought my wife a uh, tank top. They had really good prices on those. I think the t-shirts were like, the Severn t-shirts was like 15 bucks a pop. Uh, the tank top was 15. I bought a uh, Vi t-shirt that was like $10. Um, I bought a Satan Satis shirt, which was uh, 10 bucks. I think I spent like, I don't know, maybe 15 bucks in stickers just on the side. 
Um, also bought that Cruel Jaws toilet decal because I was like, fuck it, I got a bathroom right here in my movie room. Would That'd be awesome to put that on my fucking toilet. And I probably will. <laughs> if I don't, I'll probably hang it on the wall or something as a decoration. Uh, so I grabbed that. I did grab uh, three of the black uh, replacement cases um, that Severin has. It's uh, yeah, the dual cases that holds two discs. Um, I got three of those. I probably should have bought a couple more of those, but I just bought three. I think the, just for three of them was like ten fifty. So I was just kind of like, yeah, let me just get three of them. That way I can replace the couple that I do have in blue and black. We'll see how that looks. So I kind of just snagged those for the hell of it. And then they uh, they didn't even have just the single disc black cases. They Those were already sold out. And uh, I did actually have in mind to go back and just grab a few more of the dual uh, black cases just in case in my order uh, you know, a few of them showed up in blue cases. I was actually going to um, I'm replace them with the black ones, but they were already sold out. So thankfully I got the three that I did. Um, yeah, I got, I think I got that, uh, that, that was at the St. Bernard, uh, patch. It was like two bucks. Uh, I grabbed that. Uh, I'm trying to think guys, there was just so much shit I grabbed just other than just movies. Um, so I made sure I got a good bit of merch cause I actually do like their merch page. Dude, that's really cool. They do. Um, I saw like that, uh, Severn vampire floating pin. I think it was five bucks. I should have grabbed that. I just saw someone on a YouTube video I actually just showed that. And I was like, that'd be fucking great to have right here on the move your room table because i'm always have i'm always looking for a fucking pin back here to write with or something so that would have been awesome i should have grabbed that so i believe this uh they did uh on their page right now if you try to go to it of course it is down but it does say however that their site will return i believe that's this um, either thursday or friday at 10 a.m i'm not sure if that's pacific standard time or eastern standard time but guys take a look at severalfilms.com and it says right there at the bottom they are currently the site is currently down right now, but they will be back up this week. So we're going to take a couple days and they'll be right back up. Um, I was trying to think, guys, but yeah, I got all my um, order form stuff right here in front of me. I did, uh, I saw they had like these uh, vampire fangs on there, like with the cardboard background. They were only like a dollar, so I just, I mean, just miscellaneous shit I was just throwing in there. So uh, I got those, probably going to tack them on the shelf above my little uh, Severin. Uh, I'm going to make a nice little Severin display. Um, space on my shelf over here i have to definitely move some stuff around and uh, get that a little bit better organized and uh yeah very 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 excited um like i said guys i don't know a whole lot about severance so i mean i really just went all in i know that probably sounds crazy to a lot of people being like you don't really know much about that company you only got a couple of releases but here you are dumping just like fucking like eight fucking hundred dollars <laughs> on a silly that's pretty crazy but uh, you know, I'm definitely I'm definitely eager to check out these films. I spent like that whole weekend just watching trailers, um, listening to some of my favorite YouTubers go over some of these titles, hyping it up. Not to mention some of my best friends too on here. Um, you know, Cody uh, was uh, one that was telling me like, hey, I got the Black Cat. Like that's a pretty good solid movie. So I went ahead and grabbed that. I'm hoping we can watch that together. Um, and of course, Donato. I um, after I made that. For my first order, which was like that fucking huge four hundred dollar order uh, Friday night, I was uh, I screenshot everything and sent it over to Donato, and I was like, "Damn, like you got one hell of a fucking haul right there just to hop on there for the first night." And I was asking him, "I'm like, is there anything I should definitely be looking into? Um, anything I'm kind of missing that I'm overlooking?" And of course, Donato was like, "Yeah, he's like, dude, like there's some great ones in there. Like, uh, was that No Way Home was like his number one pick." I believe that's that Tim Roth film, um, some other stuff, Robo War, um, but I got him uh, to send me his uh, like top five picks first. He sent them to me. I got on the site, put them in the cart. And I was like, well, that's not bad. I could probably swing that. And I was like, you know what? Give me five more of your favorites. You know, so basically, all together, just give me like a top ten um, releases I should definitely take a look at that's available. And uh, so he sent those to me, and that's. Saturday night's order. That's um, he sent me those top ten. Um, I believe one of those was um, in that top ten. Of course, was um, uh, I believe they have a slipcover for, but the slipcover title is like Dead Alive. Um, I forgot the name of the. I'm trying to think of it right now. I probably have to look back at my phone. Oh, that's a shame too. Hmm. I forgot the title of it, and it's probably gonna fucking kill me if I don't think of it right quick. Um, yeah, I went ahead and bought the slip, and then threw two more titles on top of the top ten that he had uh, that he had uh, that he had sent me for that. 
of his uh, of his picks. Um, and then I'll tell you the uh, the ten that was uh, of course No Way Home, which was like his number one pick. So I grabbed that, and I actually got the two disc limited edition Blu-ray. It says with hand number wrap. I'm not even sure what that is, um, but I do know they had a regular edition on there it was uh, like fifteen. I went ahead and got the limited edition. I believe that's uh, yeah twenty five. Um, also in his picks was a uh, night killer. I grabbed that as well. Um, that was 15. I do remember when that film first came out, they had like a Texas Chainsaw Massacre three slip cover on it because it was going to be known in another territory to be the third, the third Texas Chainsaw Massacre film, which is fucking crazy from all the trailers I looked at for that movie, the reviews I watched, uh, uh a YouTuber review that film that Donato had sent me and I was having a ball with that but he was giving way too much away and I was laughing my ass off I was like I'll watch this after I get done watching the film after I get it but I do know that they had that slip cover I looked on eBay just to be curious and the the money they want for that piece of cardboard is insane so um yeah that'll, that'll never happen I could probably care less about that slip cover but definitely want to check out the movie uh the Robo War they still have the two disc limited edition blu-ray um, that was 15 when I had grabbed. It has great fucking prices. I was even looking at it on Amazon, eBay. Um, I was even checking some of the Orbit and Diabolic prices. A lot of a lot of stuff Diabolic didn't have in stock. Um, you know, uh, Amazon. I was either finding them like three, four dollars more expensive on Amazon. Sometimes even more. So, um, to me, this was a great sell as far as price points. So to get on there to see like a two disc limited edition set for 15 bucks that's fucking great that's that's awesome i could do that all day long and i did that's why i went crazy yeah the robo war two disc limited edition set was 15 dollars um i know nothing of the uh i believe i'm pronouncing this right is this uh, emmanuel films i know nothing of them i do know i believe that just franco have like his version of the emmanuel films joe diamato um, had their um, Emmanuel films. Um, I do remember seeing like on eBay in one of the uh, one of the um, Severin Cellar um, episodes where they picked up like this black Emmanuel box set, and uh, one of the directors of another uh, film was going over. But uh, Donato did talk me into getting um, Emmanuel and the Last Cannibals. Um, that comes with, of course, the limited edition slipcover that was seventeen fifty, which is kind of like pretty. It's the exact same way. Uh, Vinegar Syndrome uh, price price points their uh, their releases that still has the slip covers left for the you know non new releases so went ahead and got that and I did buy another Emmanuel film I have to see what the it's like Emmanuel and Francisca or something I can't I probably pronounced that wrong I take a look the one that I bought the uh, the slip cover for um, the um, the slip cover is called Buried Alive on the title. But the uh, the one he was telling me about is, is called uh, Beyond Darkness, which is the two disc set. Went ahead and got that. That was seventeen fifty. Um, the slip cover by itself was eight dollars. And here where I got confused, you could get on there and get the bundle. They had an option that you could buy the slip cover by itself for eight dollars, get the two disc Blu Ray by itself for seventeen fifty, or you could get them together in a category, but it was thirty dollars. And I was like, well, wait a minute, it's cheaper to put them in the cart individually. So seventeen fifty and eight dollars. I mean, what the hell you do the math on that? And it's definitely not thirty bucks. So, not sure what that was all about. But I did get them though. So that is uh, the two disc uh, set of uh, Beyond Darkness, and I got the uh, Beyond Darkness slip cover, which is also known as Buried Alive. Um, I'll be honest with you. I looked at that slip cover, and I can kind of see why Donato didn't really care about it. But I was like, it's eight bucks. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab it. Um, also two films, I believe that's in what they call the Severin kids category of their line. Um, when the wind blows, um, he told me that was a very interesting one. So I grabbed that. That was 15 bucks and also the peanut butter solution. So I grabbed that and, uh, that was also 15 bucks. I know nothing of those. Um, I think the, yeah, another one right here is called Threads. I heard that's just a very dreadful film. It's like this post-apocalyptic nuclear fallout kind of film. I remember seeing the slipcover for that when it was uh, first announced. and Everybody was digging the hell out of that slipcover and all that. Um, that slip's long gone. I've seen some of the prices on eBay for it. Not too bad. I see the release itself with slipcover going for like 40 You know, it's not too bad. I definitely want to check out the film and to get it on during this sale for $12.00 no brainer i'm definitely wanting to check that out so that is uh threads was another one there uh make sure guys um 
here's another one right here he recommended, which is called The Devil's Reign. I haven't even looked at the trailer, read anything on that. Pretty much kind of stayed away from it. However, the next one that he recommended was called The Devil's Honey. I do know that's a uh, Lucio Fulci film. Um, I do know a little bit about that film. I've never seen it, though, of course. Um, I remember Shockwaves going to the Severum Cellar and being like, yeah, well, this is Shockwaves approved. They were kind of like picking out their favorites. And they were saying that basically um, The Devil's Honey's uh, basically the film that happened after Lucio Fulci got sick. And he was in a bed, I believe, for about a year. And uh, they... Uh, they describe that film as uh, Lucio Fulci's, um, let's just say, um, kind of like his uh, body uh, bodily fluid film after not being able to perform for a year. So I'll let your um, imagination run wild with that. But definitely go back and check out the uh, the Severn Films YouTube channel and check it out whenever uh, the uh, Shockwaves podcast went in the Severn uh, cellar to check it out. You'll know exactly what I mean there. Um, also, um, here's just two that I threw in there just for the hell of it. Um, I thought Donato was going to pull the trigger on uh, one of these, so I went ahead and grabbed it too so we could watch it together, but I don't even believe he made an order. Um, I think he's going to hold out until the site comes back up because he just made a huge arrow video order, not to mention that fucking Vinegar Syndrome box. He made an order so big, Vinegar Syndrome couldn't. He put it in one, big, one of their biggest boxes. They had to send that shit in two boxes, <laughs> so I definitely know what that's like. Um... But I grabbed another one called Absurd, which is a two-disc limited edition, uh, a two-disc uh, limited edition set. Only seventeen fifty. That's fucking great. That's I could do those prices all day long. Those are great prices. And uh, the last one for that order was um, uh, Christopher Lee and Count Dracula. I don't have that film, but I have a lot of Christopher Lee stuff, and I did get that Eurocrypt box set that they just released uh, from the Severn site just weeks before this sale went live. So. Um, anything with Christopher Lee in it, I'll fucking watch it all day long. I just, I love the hell out of that dude. So, but I did though. That's Christopher Lee and Crop, uh, Count Dracula. I got that for 15 bucks. Um, and just to make it top it off, make the order a little bit sweeter, I did choose the $3 Christopher Lee sticker. Uh, whenever you make your order on Sever, I'm sure you all know they'll give you a list of stickers to choose from. They'll show you um, a description of what the stickers are and how much they cost. And, uh, that Christopher Lee sticker was three dollars, so I got that and that made that order two hundred and one dollars. So, Donato, please know, man, I take your suggestions very seriously. And like I said, brother, I bought all ten that you recommended. Um, even threw two more there at the end. I threw absurd in there just because I saw your um, your screenshot of what your order looked like, and I saw that you had that in there, and I was like, he's already telling me this ten, so we can check these out. Plus, he's gonna get absurd, so I'm gonna get it as well. Hopefully, we'll watch it. So, man. When you Friday when the sale, uh, whenever the you know whenever the site comes back up since the sale is now over, if you do plan on getting absurd, man, please do uh, get it at some point so that way me and you can check it out together because that was the only reason why I bought that film. But uh, like I said, man, I mean it's nothing that's going to break me or anything. It's uh, a two disc limited edition set for seventeen fifty. Fuck, I mean that's not a make or break kind of thing. That's it's a great deal. But uh, yeah, super. Uh, Super glad to uh, to get that. I'm, I'm pumped for uh, No Way Home um, to hear you describe that to me. And then right after you was telling me about it, um, Cody was like, man, you should definitely check out that movie. That looks pretty good. And I was like, yeah, man, I did actually grab that. That was Donato's number one pick. And he was like, fuck yeah, good boy for that. And, uh, you know, that night killer. Um, I do know um, I was getting, um, I was telling Alan the, uh, the top ten picks that you had. And, uh... Alan said that he was watching Master Chaos kind of go over, um, I think he was either showing it and commentating over it, or um, or he was doing like a movie breakdown review, and uh, Master Chaos was uh, doing Robo War on his channel, and Alan was just like, man, I don't know about that one, man, like, I, I don't know if that's going to be for me or not, and I was like, hey, man, fucking... You know, it is what it is, man, if you, if you grab it and don't like it, man, you kind of, that's just name of the game sometimes you get kind of burned on shit so so i don't think alan grabbed robo war <clears throat> um yeah I'm, I'm i'm super excited I'm very glad about that older denado man so like i said man i don't take your uh all you know especially with my buddies on here man like you know i just i never take those um i, I never take those recommendations lightly if it's something that's I think we all pretty much know each other's taste and we all like to watch something fucked up and we watch like to watch something original that's never been seen before 
something that'll throw you for a fucking loop, something that maybe you just can't understand and it makes it special. Um, I love that shit, man. So, dude, I appreciate the hell out of you taking the time to uh, give me those recommendations, Donato and everything, man. So, uh, that's going to be fun. That's going to be fun. Can't wait to dig into those. Um, guys, I'll tell you what, I'll go back and, uh, uh, for that Friday night order, and I just went, I went completely fucking crazy. It was, it was me just sitting back here. I was having a good night. I finally got a moment to myself. To, I'll be honest, uh, Friday night too, whenever that sale just started, I had like a really bad week. And I was just like, I'm ready for this week to be over with. Unfortunately, I got to work, you know, the weekend, which is Saturday, Sunday, blah, blah, blah. But I just want to take Friday night to enjoy it for what I can, even though I had some shit going on, blah, blah, blah. So I did find, uh, you know, a little bit of downtime to come back here in the movie room and kind of just get a moment to myself. So, um, sorry about that, guys. <sighs> Fucking, I don't even know who that is. So anyway, I come back here. I wanted to go just take a look at the sale. Like I said in the beginning of this video, I was maybe going to throw a hundred bucks at it. And I actually got on there and just started looking. I was like, well, I'm kind of interested in that. And I literally just sat here for a while. Had YouTube on the TV right here. Just taking a look at trailers. I was actually on the Severin uh, YouTube uh, channel looking at stuff too. And as I was looking, I was getting pumped up. I was like, I wouldn't mind checking that out. That looks good. That looks interesting. Um, there was a couple things I did see on there though that I was just like, I don't think that's going to be for me kind of thing. And, you know, everybody's got their own taste and shit like that. So, but, uh, yeah, guys, I went fucking crazy on that first order though. I don't know what I was thinking. And I guess just once I took that plunge, it was, <laughs> after I took that plunge and it was like a $400 fucking order, I was like, you know, the next night I was like, well, what's $200 more for the second order? And then the third night, what's uh what's a what's 75 dollars more what's 50 dollars more and i was just yeah it just snowballed from there so like i said guys uh even with the sale being over with now i have no regrets of it i'm just fucking i'm super stoked to get that big box in can't wait for that to come in i'm gonna sit right here around camera and open it up and take everything out and uh I, i'm sure there's gonna be some duds in that thing i'm sure there's gonna be there's gonna be a few in there i'm just gonna be like why the fuck did i buy this this is just sucks ass that happens all the time. That happens to me with vinegar syndrome constantly. The good thing about that stuff is I always find people who's wanting it. There's completest of these labels who wants everything. Uh, they're either wanting it because they're completest or they just want to see it, just has the curiosity just like me to check it out. So I always end up trading, selling, whatever. So it's never really a loss. And sometimes I'll end up buying the stuff during these sales and that shit goes out of print. And then it starts going for ridiculous prices on eBay. But... I'm not that heartless, soulless bastard to be like, I bought it for 15, but I'm going to try to sell it for 500. Fucking, I like to trade some. I'll trade you one movie for fucking two movies that you have. So that's always a, that's always a perk for me. So enough about that though. But yeah, guys, like I said, I went fucking crazy. I'll tell you, um, the, uh, the first order I placed, technically it wasn't even, um, Friday night, but it was, it was about one o'clock in the morning going into Saturday. Um, grabbed the uh, Massacre in Dinosaur Valley with slipcover, 1750. Um, I know that movie is just complete fucking balls to the wall. Just so many problems. <laughs> I got to see it, though. One of those things. Uh, but yeah, 1750, that's a no-brainer right there. Um, cool that slipcover's still with it. Um, I'm not sure exactly how how long that's been out through, with Vinegar Syndrome, but uh, Vinegar Syndrome, I mean Severn Films. But I do know that Severn Films does not discount anything um, that's been released in the previous six months of a sale. So um, pretty much I, at that price, seventeen fifty with a slipcover, it's been out definitely a little bit more than six months. I think Vinegar Syndrome is kind of like that label that's anything that's been previously released in the past three months uh, for this sale the halfway to black friday sale we just saw they were excluding um, the february title so a lot of people wasn't able to get that uh, what was that like the forgotten gialli volume three set at sale price and stuff like that so it was a little different this time i don't know exactly if we want to sit here and do the correct math on that but that seems more like it was four months instead of three but i'm sh maybe i'm wrong who knows? Uh, next one up on that list is uh, Fulci for Fake um, Blu-ray with lenticular slipcover. Uh, I've got that for eighteen fifty. What a great price! I remember seeing Donato pick that one up. Um, Enigma, 
was that uh, uh, there was another demon one, de demonia or something like that. I can't remember. I only know how to pronounce that shit. Um, but I saw him pick those up a while back, and uh, to get that for eighteen fifty and the lenticular slipcover still be with it, um, I, d I definitely did. I was watching the Severn uh, YouTube channel and uh, watching them talk about it, and I was like, yeah, like I'm gonna get that shit. And, like. I love the hell out of some Lucio Fulci, so any kind of knowledge I can gain from any release, I'm gonna get it, especially for that price, 1850. What a fucking steal! Uh, the next one I got was um, the Beast Must Die with slipcover, 1650. Don't know nothing about it, just grabbed it. Um, here's one right here I didn't get for a sale price. Um, I believe it's relatively new to Severn Films, but that is the uh, the Vi release uh, featuring the exclusive slipcover limited to 1500. Um, that was 28 dollars. So that was pretty much full price for that one, which I don't mind. It's all good. Um, I will tell you too, the uh, the Fulci for fake release that I bought, I noticed under here, um, that says America, uh, North America only. So apparently they can't sell that title. And I did see a few other titles that had that same little restriction at the bottom of it. So apparently uh, Severn has their restrictions on their certain titles that they have in their catalog that you can buy, but you got to be in North, North America to buy them and they can't send them outside of North America so it's a little weird to see that I think that's one of the first times I've ever seen that I've never gone like Screen Factory or Vinegar Syndrome and they just be like well we can't fucking sell this outside of North America um, of course like you know Screen Factory is Region A stamped so of course like I'm sure they're not going to ship to Russia or something like that but um, it's just a little weird to see that though alright keep on going guys uh, what was that um, I bought uh, Nightmare Castle the DVD I bought the DVD because I just didn't see the Blu-ray of it while I was going through the list. It's got Barbara Steele in it. I love the hell out of Barbara Steele. Fucking loved her in Mario Bava's Black Sunday. That movie changed my life. I was just talking to Alan about this. So I did buy the uh, the DVD. The DVD was only like 10 bucks. I was like, fuck it. I'll check it out. I was talking to Alan about it, and I was like, dude, like they do have a Blu-ray in there in the list. It's in the sale. And I was like, fuck, are you serious? Sure enough, he sends me a screenshot of it. I got on there. Sure enough, it's sitting there for 15 bucks. So I told Alan, I was like, hey, thanks for looking out. Thanks for finding out. Tell you what, I'm going to head and I'm going to go ahead and buy the Blu ray. I'll send you the fucking DVD when I get it. Instead of canceling it and doing all this other bullshit and confusing them with the order, whenever I get it, I'll send you the DVD. And that way, me and you can watch the movie together. So, Alan, as soon as I get that box in, brother, I will take that Nightmare Castle DVD and it will be coming your way, man. So. Look forward to watching that with you too, man. Um, I, ho I hope you dig that too, man. I I'm really hoping that's going to be good. Um, I don't know if you've ever got to see Black Sunday. Uh, Arrow Video did such an amazing fucking job on that release up there of uh, Black Sunday. And uh, I believe I bought that and uh, Black Sabbath uh, from an eBay seller. They were three disc sets. They had the booklets with them. Got them for a really good price. I remember digging them out the mailbox one day, and then that night, I popped both of them in and went fucking crazy with it. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, I think Black Sabbath and Black Sunday has like, um, I think Black Sunday has like an extra film in there too. Uh, but Black Sunday is fucking great. As soon as that movie starts up, they're putting this witch and like the fucking Iron Maiden, just big fucking muscle dude, just slaps the front of that shit with a sledge. I'll never forget that moment. I was already sitting there like the first two, three minutes in that film being like, holy shit, can't wait to see what happens next. But uh, Barbara still is fucking great. Seen plenty of inter uh, watched the interviews with her on that disc and some other releases I have. Love the hell out of her, man. She's a great fucking actress. Uh, they don't make them like her no more, that's for sure. So, they, uh, can't wait to get that Nightmare Cast DVD in your hands and uh, we'll check that shit out. Uh, next up on the list, guys, um, I did buy the uh, the Patrick Blu-ray and DVD combo set. That was 15 bucks. Um, I do know a lot of people love the hell out of that movie, and plus the second one, which I got further down the list here. Um, I do know a lot of people love the hell out of those. I've never seen it. Watched the trailer. I think I listened to, uh, I think that was Shockwave's talk about it. Uh, it might have been, I don't know, maybe last year when I was listening to them talk about it. Um, I don't even know what's going on with their podcast anymore. I don't know if they're... I don't, you know what, I, fuck it, whatever, I'm sure everybody knows about that bullshit, but there was some sexual harassment shit that took place from what I heard, and who knows if that podcast is still taking place, I have no idea, but um, it's been a while since I've seen anything from them or heard anything, so, 
anyway, that is Patrick Blu-ray and DVD combo set. Um, here's two right here that uh, Alan also ordered, and I can't wait till we get these to watch this shit because we've all we've all talked about that list. That that list was just one of those things. I think they I, that list was purposely made just for fucking people to buy, just to purposely look in that shit. You make a list telling somebody just don't never watch these things because they're not supposed to be seen by humans or they're just too grotesque or whatever. The first thing we're gonna fucking especially with people like me, I just tell me I'm not tell me not to do something. I'm gonna fucking want to do it immediately. But that is the the video nasties, the definitive guide. Uh, me and Alan got both parts of that. There is two parts. Uh, those were $15 a piece. And I didn't see those as uh, Blu-rays. They only had those as DVD releases. So, Alan, fuck it, when you get those, man, I can't. Those things are long. I looked at the runtime on those fucking things, and I was like, Jesus Christ. Like, you get your money's worth right here. I think they went over the whole fucking list. I was thinking the runtime for the uh, for, for the first volume was just outrageous. I got to the runtime for part two, and I was like, damn, like, this will take fucking three days for us to get all through. I can't wait till we get those, man. We'll check them out. Another one right here I got Alan to uh, pull the trigger on was another uh, trailer compilation. Um, the Grindhouse tra uh, Trailer Classics Volume 1. Uh, so we got that one. That one was actually only 10 bucks. I know the runtime on that one is nowhere near as long as the other uh, video nasties. But, um, but yeah, I can't wait to uh, check that out. I love the cover on that thing. And from when I saw the back of it, I was kind of like looking at the breakdown of some of the movies that they covered on there. I was like, that's my shit. Like, I can't wait to hear them talk about it, show the trailers, whatever I can get off of it. Uh, next up is, uh, this is a film I know nothing of, just uh, very vaguely heard uh, one of the Severn guys talking about it, and that's called uh, Family Portraits, A Trilogy of America. That was $15. I just went ahead and grabbed it. Um, as soon as I read the synopsis on it, I was like, I'm intrigued. I want to check it out. That's 100% blind buy right there. Um you never know. It could be a fucking hit. could be a miss. Whatever. For 15 bucks, I'll give it a spin. If I don't like it, fuck it. It'll go to somebody else. And I'll uh, get me something in return. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, Family Portraits Trilogy of America. Synopsis from what I read and what I heard the guy was saying about it. He had me intrigued. Uh, here's that next Patrick film. Uh, Patrick Still Lives. Blu-ray with exclusive slip cover. Um, got that for seventeen fifty. I bought this. <clears throat> like I said, it was technically Saturday night. Because it was a little late Friday. Um, I bought this, and then I went to go check it Saturday night at work as I was going down the whole Blu-ray list at Severn Films, and it said out of stock. And I was like, well, damn, like the slipcover sold out. The regular edition was 15 It was still sitting there. It was available, but the one with the slipcover I had just bought the night before, it was now out of stock. Last night, as I'm sitting there just monitoring the site, see what's going on, seeing if anything went out of stock, whatever, the out of stock label disappeared on Patrick Still Lives, and the slipcover was available again. And I believe Alan said the same thing had happened with the uh, uh, with that new Dracula movie, that 4K. That's like I think it's like 45 bucks or something. Um, I think he said that might have happened one or two times. So it might have been like a glitch in their system or something like that. Who knows? But um, I did notice that last night. So it was available last night. Hopefully everybody got a chance to get one with a slipcover. If you guys had your eyes on it. Uh, next up, this was one that was full price as well. wasn't a, wasn't a sell price. I had to get it though, cause I'm dying to see this shit. That is uh, the release of Grizzly, uh, with exclusive slipcover. Got that for 28 bucks. Here's another one right here. I'm super glad I got. Saw Alan pulled the trigger on this, so I had to go for it as well. And that is Killer Crocodile, the two disc Blu-ray, um, featuring the exclusive slipcover. We got that for 20 bucks. Um, so yeah, it's 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 cool as hell. Like the slipcover from what I see, it's got Killer Crocodile one on one side, and you flip it over, and it's Killer Crocodile two on the other side. So um, I've always heard Killer Crocodile two is just, two is just fucking complete garbage juice. It's just a train wreck of a film. But everybody has a lot of fun with the first one, so I can't wait. Uh, I told Alan I was like, when we get we get ready to pop those in the players, like let's 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 definitely uh, mix a few uh, bourbons together and. Uh, We'll, uh, we'll give those a spin. Have some fun. Uh, next one up, of course, I went ahead and grabbed this one. This is uh, Peter Cushing uh, film right here. And I don't even have it, which is a shame. But um, that's uh, The Uncanny. Can't wait to get that and watch that. Hopefully there's some nice special features on there. Um, I, but one of the things I do love about those old films, too, especially like the old Christopher Lee films, Peter Cushing, 
um, Vincent Price and all that stuff. I love when they bring film historians in who really know their shit and they're kind of cataloging like where they were at their in their career when they made that movie, what came before it, what was after, what was their lifestyle like. I'm pretty sure you guys would all know that Peter Cushing was having a hard time with like the death of his wife. Uh, Christopher Lee had pretty much went through a similar kind of situation. I think those two leaned on one another, not only just on set, acting together, and being able to pull off some great cinema, but they were also really good friends in, uh, you know, in real life, and they leaned on one another, moral support, and offer each other sympathy and condolence, and, you know, and all kinds of shit like that. So I, I, I was, it's always great to hear uh, about that stuff, because those guys are just titans to me. It's like, man, like, they just... You put them in front of a camera on screen together, and they fucking take it over. Like anything else, could, there could be anybody else in that movie. It doesn't fucking matter. Like those two are titans to me. Love the hell out of those guys. But uh, that is the uncanny. You got that for fifteen bucks. I'm sorry for the ramble. Um, next up is uh, the Saint Bernard release, uh, Blu-ray with slipcover. Um, got that for seventeen fifty. I did see that they were selling. You know, of course, the regular edition for fifteen dollars. Um, the edition I got, of course, is with the limited edition slipcover for seventeen fifty. So not bad, you know, two two fifty extra for a slipcover. But they were also selling the, um, I believe that's the director signed slipcover, and they were selling that for ten bucks. Um, I saw Alan was about to pull the trigger on that, and I was thinking about doing it myself, and I was like, my release already comes with a slipcover. Do I really need another fucking slipcover with the director's signature on it? I think I'm just okay with just having the regular slip cover. I'm not going to go that far. So that just kind of goes to show you where I'm where I'm at with the slip cover game. It was just a passing thought that ended just like that. I was like, ah, I'm good. I'd rather take that 10 bucks and throw it at another film. So uh, I, don't, I don't think Alan picked up that uh, signed slip cover though. I think he uh, changed his mind on that. Uh, next up, uh, Death Warmed Up Blu-ray with slip cover. I figured that slip cover was long gone. I remember when that was first announced and um, everybody I was listening to on YouTube was just being like, man, this is like, you know, this is kind of like that Australian kind of body melt kind of film. It's just fucking full of gore, and everybody was raving over it. And I'm really surprised to see that that slipcover stayed around, because I'm pretty sure all these slipcovers are very limited. Um, who knows if they pressed more after they gave a limitation out, or maybe they just didn't give a limit on them. Who knows? But uh, like I said, guys, I'm really unfamiliar with, with uh, severance practices. Severance is not one that I constantly follow all the time and get on their site and all that, monitor everything. So, But I'm not sure how that works, but that was cool as hell, though, to get the uh, the film with the uh, limited edition slipcover for uh, 1750 So I jumped on it. Uh, picked this one up. This is an old release from them. Um, I'm definitely I'm looking forward to popping this in and watching this with the missus just to fuck with her because um, I've heard this is a balls-out crazy-ass movie, and that is The Sinful Dwarf. I got that for 15 bucks. Um, I've been seeing that on, I've seen, for the past couple of years, I've been seeing that on eBay, uh, Diabolic, Grindhouse Tampa, and all that stuff, and it usually runs for about that price, either like 15, 20 bucks, and I always skip out on it, and I was like, you know what, fuck, I'm not skipping it this time, I'm getting a big box from them anyway, fuck it, like, let that be one of them that's in there, so I went for it, uh, Sinful Dwarf, the Sinful Dwarf Special Edition Blu-ray, $15.00. Um, got another one right here I know absolutely jack shit about. I think the director did, oh, fuck, I'm trying to think of what other movie he did because I just heard somebody visit the cellar talking about this director. Um, but I got Bloody Moon, uh, Blu-ray, twelve fifty. What a great fucking price, man. I could do those prices all day long. Um, the next one I bought right here, this was, um, this was a mistake on my end. Um, I did buy the DVD of this. Um, kind of like how I did Nightmare Castle. I don't think I really paid attention close enough to see what they had as far as DVDs and Blu-rays. But I did buy that Sexploitation. It's a two-disc DVD set. I believe it's a lot of trailers for the Sexploitation era, 42nd Street kind of thing. Um, that was $10. And then come to find out, I went to go look right back through the Blu-rays after I made the order. And, of course, there's the Blu-ray sitting there. I think it was like $12 or $12.50, something like that. And I was like, fuck. Like, I did it again. But uh, ain't no big deal though. Um, like I was telling Alan, man, like you know, I I still I still love DVDs, man. Especially, um, this is boutique label shit too. Whatever DVDs they're putting out, you know the DVDs are top notch, and it's not just like some fucking Mill Creek cheap bullshit. You know what I mean? It's not like that Echo Bridge kind of fucking 
just horrible practices that they fucking have. We're trying to cram like 10 hours on one DVD, compressing the shit out of it, making it look like garbage. So, um, but yeah, I did grab that. That's, uh, it's called That's Sexploitation! Exclamation point. Uh, two disc DVD set. Got that for 10 bucks. And like I said, the, the fucking Blu ray on there. <laughs> It was 12 bucks, 12 50, something like that. Uh, next up, these uh, these were also on Blu ray, but I just grabbed the DVDs of, these, DVDs of these two releases because they were only five bucks, and I think the Blu rays were 15 bucks a pop. And I wanted to save a little bit of money, and they're just compilation DVDs. So uh, I got Kung Fu Trailers of Fury and Return of Kung Fu Trailers of Fury. So two different uh, DVD releases right there. Both of those were five dollars a pop. When I went to go look at them to see if they had them in Blu ray, if it wasn't going to be a big difference, I was going to grab the Blu-rays of them. But each Blu-ray was $15. So I was like, you know what? I could spend 10 bucks and get both DVDs of the shit. And the special features are exactly the same. No difference. I could spend $10 and get both fucking volumes of the DVDs. Or I could spend 30 and get them on Blu-ray. I might as well save a little bit of money, take that extra 20 bucks, and throw it to something else. So I got the DVDs. Uh, next one here is another DVD I got. And it's uh, Feed the Light. Don't know nothing about don't know anything about it, but it was only five bucks. Um, Severn did have a nice little selection of five dollar DVDs. They had a nice little selection of like ten dollar Blu-rays in that sale, so I was taking advantage of what I could. Um, there was just some stuff I looked up though. I just wasn't that really that interested in. I think they had a Blu-ray in there called uh, Birdemic. I've heard uh, numerous people talk about that. I think they only wanted seven bucks for it. And for some reason, I have no idea, but I completely forgot about it. And I should have went back in last night when I made my last order to grab Cruel Jaws and uh, Black Cat and all that. I should have went in and just threw Bird Dimmick in there because it was only 7 bucks. And uh, fuck, with that price, I can do that all day. And it would have been nice to check that out, especially for 7 bucks. But yeah, that was Feed the Light DVD for $5. Guys, I did buy some shirts. Um, I bought myself two shirts. I bought my wife two shirts from this order. Um, I believe I got one of the red Severn logo shirts, uh, one of the pink ones for my wife. That's the Severn logo shirt. Um, I got a, just a regular plain black and white Severn logo shirt for myself. And I also bought the, uh, the Vi, uh, t-shirt. Um, the Vi t-shirt was only like 10 bucks. Um, the Severn logo shirts were $15 a pop and I got three of those, the, the black and white one. Uh, the pink one, and uh, the red shirt with the black Severn logo, which I really like that red shirt. I told my wife, I was like, I got it for you, but we're probably going to end up sharing that shirt. And like I said, guys, I did get the uh, the black Blu-ray cases, double disc case. Um, I did get three of those, and those were uh, ten fifty. And um, so, yeah, that came up to about uh, three ninety four. I got free media mail shipping with it, of course, since I sent it, spent a fuck ton of money. And uh, just to make it even, it was three ninety four. I wanted to round it up to four hundred dollars, so I bought some stickers. I got the uh, four Severn logo stickers for two dollars, so two dollars for four stickers ain't bad. Um, I got four Inner Vision logo stickers for two dollars, and of course I threw a Tales of the Uncanny sticker in there because I love this fucking release so much. I want the sticker of it. If anything, I'll keep the fucking sticker and put it inside the fucking case here, or I'll stick it on my binder right here, where I write down all my shit that I bought. So, uh, yeah, made that, uh, made that even to, uh, 400 right there. So guys, I went over the two biggest orders right there that I just did. Um, let's see. I don't want to waste so much time, but I did. I just made, God, man, I ordered so much shit. Let's go down to the next one here. I already went over that. Uh, it's definitely going to be a nice big box to really dig into and find out what Severn's all about. Like I said, guys, I only got a little bit of stack right here of uh, Severn stuff. So I'm, I'm, I'm definitely eager to get that, uh, really just go all in and just see what they really had to offer. Um, you know, I'm, they, they kind of remind me of, uh, their label reminds me so much of uh, Vinegar Syndrome. Um, it's, you know, they're, they're rescuing, it seems like they're rescuing films that's just obscure as they could possibly get a lot of people's probably you know these big uh, these big labels are not chasing them down um, but from what I've seen of uh, you know the releases I have Severn does great work with the restorations that uh, the Euro Crypt of Christopher Lee collection right there that thing is just a box of beautifulness right there that release of Santa Sangre um, I remember when I made my video when I was uh, unboxing that I would have preferred them to put it in a really nice, thick, uh, rigid slip case with that being such a huge release. That is, it's fucking a four-disc set. 
Um, I would like to see a rigid four disc, uh, a rigid case for that four disc set. But the you know the the housing case that's got on it is actually pretty thick. It's definitely not thin like some of the other shit we've seen before. But um, but yeah, they they got some great looking stuff, man. I I, I got some stuff on the table I haven't even checked out yet from them, and I'm definitely just I got that fever right now where I'm ready to go through it and uh, definitely dig in. 45 minutes so guys we're going pretty strong here guys if you made it to the 45 minute part and the only thing i've done is sit here and ramble about the severance sale what i've got and all that kudos to you if for some reason that you did you all got out you got to the 45 minute mark of this in the comment section i don't know type the word pecker <laughs> just just so I know you got to the 45 minute mark and if you get there and I do see you type that comment in there you're going to get a fucking big kudos from me for that shit <clears throat> alright guys so next up this was the uh, I believe yeah this was a Sunday night's um, orders that I made I went back and bought the Nightmare Castle Blu-ray because I told Alan I was going to sing the DVD um, I do know that Nightmare Castle I think it has like two bonus films in there or something like that so I was like, fuck it, I'm going to go ahead and grab that. And uh, But Alan, like I said, brother, I will be sending you that DVD when I get it. Um, another one that I bought was Eaten Alive 2, uh, I'm sorry, Eaten Alive 2 disc Blu-ray limited edition, with limited edition slipcover. Got that for $17.50. Um, I know that's just one of those straight up kind of like fucking cannibal style looking kind of films. So I'm um, eager to check that out. Uh, the next one I bought in this order is uh, Primitives Blu-ray with exclusive slipcover. Got that for seventeen fifty as well. So uh, those th those are definitely um, you know those are definitely blind buys for me right there. Both of those that uh, Eaten Alive um, two disc set and uh, Primitives. I really don't know nothing much about them. They kind of remind me of like from what I was looking on YouTube and everything. They really do kind of look like that run of the mill kind of cannibal kind of films. Um, which I'm sure everybody knows there's fucking thousands of those out there on the markets that everybody's just clamoring to get. Um, but I definitely want to check them out though. Sometimes I'm in the mood for those. Just very frequently I'm in the mood for those and a lot of times I'm not. Like films films like, you know, like Cannibal Holocaust, Cannibal Fear, because I have to be in a mood to watch those. That's not just films I'm going to go to my shelf and just grab it off there and watch it because I feel like watching it all the time. Um, I have to be in a certain mood for those. But I, hey, I, I gave it. Uh, I gave it the. I gave it some attention though, and got them. So at least I have a variety to choose from in that uh, that Severn category, on the shelf. Uh, let me see. So guys, that was like a fifty dollar order right there. I went right back in and made another order. I bought a movie called Gwendolyn, um, the limited edition set. Um, it was seventeen fifty. Um, I was looking at some of that too, and that definitely looks. That looks uh, definitely uh, something original. Uh, it looks different anyway from like from the films that I collect. It's something I've definitely not really seen before. Um, so I kind of got that just because it's an oddball, different looking film to me. So can't wait to check that out. Um, I like to throw some diversity in what I'm grabbing, especially since I had since I was going all out making these this huge fucking order, digging into this label. So let me get the best. Let me just get a little bit of everything they got to offer, so I can get the best of all worlds. So um, I don't even know what genre of film that could be described as. I was just listening to somebody talk about it a little bit and saw a little bit of a trailer. I do know it went by a different title there for another territory or something like that. But they have it here listed as Gwendolyn. So I went ahead and picked that up. <clears throat> Here's the next Emmanuel film I bought. Um, Donato taught me into getting the uh, Emmanuel and the Last Cannibals. I believe that's the name of it. In his top 10 pick and grab that so i went ahead and grabbed the other one because i saw that he had this one as well in the uh in the uh, picture that he had showed me um sitting on his shelf it's called emmanuel and francus uh blu-ray with lenticular slip cover so i went ahead and grabbed that as well i was like fuck it might as well get uh might as well get another one that he has but we could check them out together and uh, that was 1750. uh the next two up i'm very intrigued to watch i don't know what it is about the atmosphere of these movies they fucking terrify me. I am one of those people that you could show me any monster in the world, whatever the fuck it is, one environment though that really just terrifies the hell out of me and the people that's usually turn into the people that they turn into because of that environment is always going to be prison. That shit's just always freaked me the fuck out. I pray that I never wind up there one day for some stupid shit, spur of the moment kind of shit. 
That would be a fucking horrible nightmare. Prisons scare the fuck out of me. Just watching shit on TV sometimes just makes me go, there's just no way I can live like that. But I did buy uh, these two films. Very eager to watch them, though. Uh, my wife kind of likes these kind of films, too. But that is uh, Escape from Woman's Prison. I'm sorry. Escape from Women's Prison, which was $15. And the next one was called uh, Violence in a Woman's Prison. And that was $15 as well. So I grabbed uh, both of those. Uh, the next one, uh, the next two are DVD compilations. Um, it's called uh, Mondo Frodo, Mondo, I'm sorry, Mondo Frodo slash Mondo Bizarro. I believe these are uh, compilation uh, DVDs, something like that. And the next one's called Echo slash The Forbidden DVD. Both of those are $5. I went ahead and checked them out. I, I was looking through the, the, the DVD section of, uh, of Severin, and I was like, you know what, man, like fucking file our DVDs. I'll check these out for sure. This just adds more sweetness to the box. It gives me something more to explore, so why not? So I grabbed all those. And like I said, guys, that was the that was the second order I made uh, Sunday night. So I did that $50 order and then turned around and did another $75 order. Back-to-back. Uh, back. Um, okay, so last night right before the sale went off, I'll just uh, run through these right quick. I was just going there just grabbing shit. I had, some, I had a little bit of room to play with, and I was like, let me just keep sweetening in the pot. I, whenever I get that box, I want that fucking thing to be filled to the brim. I want to really have something to sit here on box, really dig into. Christmas is coming fucking early. Let's make it happen. Um, I bought the St. Bernard patch. I went ahead and bought, like I said, I bought the Blu-ray with the slip cover. They had the St. Bernard patch on there for like two bucks. I went ahead and snagged me one. Uh, the Cruel Jaws toilet decal, um, that was $5. From my understanding, that thing's big enough to go on like a fucking toilet seat. I was like, you know, even if I don't put it in my movie room, bathroom, because I would kind of like to do that. If I change my mind, I don't want to do that. It'd be a nice piece to hang on the fucking wall. Um, I did get that Satan Sadist t-shirt. Um, that was 10 bucks. Great prices on the fucking shirts. I saw a hoodie on there that was 40 bucks. I, I like the hoodies. That's the zip up hoodies though. And this looks like it was like an overthrow kind of hoodie. Um, if it would have been a zip up hoodie though for 40 bucks, I'd have jumped, I'd have bought fucking two of them. Um, love the hell out of zip up hoodies like that, but uh, theirs was no throw. I probably should have got one just for the hell of, hell of it because I would have been happy with it. But I like the zip up hoodies better though. Um, still rock my. I've had that. I've had a, you guys probably seen me wear it, but that Slipknot zip up hoodie. I've had that thing for like four, four or five years. Ever since the Great Chapter came out, that album came out. My wife bought me the hoodie just because as soon as that album was released, I fell in love with it. It's one of my favorite Slipknot records ever. And uh, she bought me the hoodie of that. And I, even though that thing's falling apart, it's like, it's not even black no more. It's like fucking a washing machine's done turn that thing like solid white almost at this point. I uh, love the hell out of it though. But uh, yeah, I bought the Satan Sadist t-shirt, 10 bucks. Great price on that. Uh, let's see. Uh, blood and flesh promotional things. It's like, you know, plastic vampire things um, that you get, you know, like at the store and shit to help uh, kids, you know, put them in their mouth and shit for, you know, dress up as vampires for Halloween. Um, I like the little display that it was in with the cardboard back and, and it was only a dollar. I'm like, that's going to look, that's fucking worth it just to get it, just to tack it. I'm probably going to hang it on my shelf um, around my Severn section. Um, I did get my uh, wife a, um, a Severn logo uh, ladies tank top. I'm just trying to think. I think it was a solid black shirt with a white Severn logo on it. Um, that was 15 bucks, so not bad. Um, I did get some enamel pins. Um, they had this bundle where you can get the Severn and the uh, Intervision logo enamel pins. I got both of them. Those were 6 bucks for both. And to finish off that order, um, I got uh, the Black Cat Blu-ray because uh, Cody had sent me a picture of it. He said it was a pretty good film. He had it in his collection, so I went ahead and grabbed me a copy, and that was $15. Bucks. Um, that came up to like 54 but I wanted to round it off as much as I can. So, of course, I got to the sticker, se <laughs> the sticker selection at the very end of the order. Um, I bought a uh, wax, max, uh, wax Mask sticker for $3.00. Got the release right here. I believe I ordered this from Diabolic DVD. Came with the slips. Got the CD soundtrack in there. A um, little card in there detailing the track listing and all that. So a nice little sticker to go with that. I bought a St. Bernard sticker for $1.50. Like I said, guys, already got the fucking patch. Already got the Blu-ray with slip cover. Why not get the sticker to go with it? That was $1.50. And I got uh, one of the uh, Death Warmed Up stickers because I did buy that uh, Blu-ray release with slip cover. And the sticker was only $1.00. So... Yeah, guys, that uh, that total for that order came up to sixty bucks. 
So that was last night. Uh, spur of the moment right there. Sight was about to go down. Went back in there. Just grabbed some goodies just to keep throwing it in there. So here I am sitting here thinking, okay, it's just a couple minutes before midnight. Let me see if Alan's going to get back in there and buy anything. And of course, I checked in with him. He's like, yeah. I jumped in there. I bought Cruel Jaws right quick. I was like, fuck. All right, well, since you bought it, now I kind of want to buy it. So, of course, I, it was like 11.55. It even got a timestamp from when I took the screenshot. So I jumped in there really quick and uh, bought the Cruel Jaws standard uh, standard Blu-ray uh, for 15 bucks. Um, that's great. The Severn also does like Vinegar Syndrome does with the exact add to the existing order. That's great, but that's such a fucking catch too, because that just just like vinegar syndrome. I while those cells are going through the that cells going on through the whole weekend, I'm going right back in there. I'm like, I can just add an order, and I ain't got to pay additional shipping. I, I what what brilliant fucking market strategy that they're doing with that shit too. They know exactly what they're doing, because suckers like me will keep coming back in that motherfucker. Make one big ass order and be like, right, I'm gonna stay off of it for the rest of the weekend. I got what I want. I got the you know. I got the most important stuff that I was looking at. They know damn well. Okay, well, we got him Friday night. You know he's going to come right back fucking Saturday, if not Friday again, and place another order. But, well, I'm just going to throw one or two more things back in. They know what they're doing with that shit. So, yeah, guys, that was a uh, Cruel Jaws standard blue where he got that for 15 bucks. I believe Alan said he looked on he looked on somewhere, and he's got the slip cover for that thing coming. I think that's uh, basically originally entitled uh, Jaws 5. So I think he's got the slip for that coming. Um, I know that slipcover is probably fucking expensive, and I'll never, I'll never buy it because I'm telling you guys, that's just kind of where I stand with slipcovers now. Um, don't get me wrong, I love them. I will, I'll buy them if they're for a good price. Um, I'm not, I'm not paying stupid money for them though. Um, you know, I'll throw a few bucks at it here to get it here and there to make it look good on the shelf and include it on there. I uh, might do a trade or something like that, but at this point, my biggest concern is, is the. It, whether it's the regular release or it's the release with the slipcover, is all the special features still there, the presentation, everything, is it, if it's only the difference that the fact that it's just a piece of cardboard going over it, I'm not that concerned about it. If it's only a couple bucks to add that slipcover on there, fuck yeah, I'll do it all day long. But I'm not getting on eBay paying $50 for a fucking slipcover. I don't care what it is. Not doing it. Not doing it. It better be one hell of a fucking slipcover, I can tell you that, for me to do that shit. Um, I've been, like I said, guys, I'm guilty of that shit, though. I've, uh, I've definitely uh, doing the, you know, I got in the Screen Factory, making sure I got all those, the collector's edition slip covers. Um, I've chased down a few Arrow video slip covers. I'm trying to think. Uh, you know, there's a, a few more companies I've chased down the slip covers for. I never went crazy and fucking paid stupid money for them, though. Um, you know, at one point, I think I paid. Sorry about that, guys. I fucking, I know who that is. Um, I did, I did definitely overpay. Um, for some releases like Day of the Dead from Screen Factory with that slipcover. That slipcover was hard to come by. Um, looking back at that now, I don't regret it or anything like that. It's just, you know, I got that. It's done. It's going to have to be a really good fucking release for me to really want to chase down and pay like 20 25 bucks for a fucking slipcover. I know to a lot of people that's nothing because a lot of, you know, these hardcore collectors... They're, they're already paying like fucking $50, $75. I'm seeing those people who are buying those blood hook slip covers to this day. They're still paying like 100 bucks for them. I'll never do that. Never do that. Um, but you know, hey, to, to each their own. But yeah, guys, um, already at an hour right now. So we're going to, I was going to go over just the stack of severance stuff that I have right here on the table, but I'll save that one for, uh, for part two or just label it something else. But guys, I do hope that everybody got what they wanted during the sale. Hopefully, you took advantage of it. Um, if you didn't, from what Donato tells me, you know, if this just this, you know, over the weekend just wasn't the right time for you financially, or you just didn't have really time to look at it, um, I do know that the Sever site is coming back up. Either I think it's Thursday or Friday, something like that, 10 a.m. I just can't remember whether it's Eastern Standard Time or Pacific Standard Time. You know what, guys? Fuck it. We'll go over this right quick because this deserves it. Um, because I I think I did. Um, yeah, it says for now the site will be closed until Friday, July 2nd at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So there you go, guys. Um, but the daughter did tell me that usually after the sales in, they will turn the site back on after a few days. And when that site comes back on, a lot of the sale price stuff is still in there, you know. So, um, you know, who knows that could change up different this time. I really don't know a whole lot about Severn, just going on what Donato tells me. And I know he orders from them a lot and he keeps an eye on their shit. So if anybody does know, it is Donato. 
Um, so, uh, but yeah, I'll, I'll definitely be eager to look back at that site whenever it comes back up Friday. So, guys, if you missed out on it, you know, just, you know, your funds wasn't there at that moment or the timing was just bad, make sure you get back on there uh, Friday morning and check that out. And just keep in mind that's 10 a.m. Friday Pacific Standard Time and uh, see if you can grab you some goodies. But for everybody who did get on it over the weekend, like myself, like Alan, um, some other people, um, I, hope, I hope everybody got what they wanted. I hope uh, you took advantage of those uh, good prices, guys. I will tell you, I was too. I was, as I was looking through the prices, uh, the price points on uh, Severn, I was looking at Amazon, I was looking at eBay, I was looking at Orbit, I was looking at Diabolic. I was doing everything I could to compare prices, but I like, can't wait later on this. Do I really want to jump on this right now? Is that a great price? And I'm telling you, that Severn sell had some really good prices. Um, you can always tell when the company has a really good fucking price on their sale whenever you go to look over at Amazon to see what they're charging for it and there's like these five ten dollar differences um, usually like when Screen Factory runs their sales like we're getting on there comparing them and they're barely just matching what Amazon's fucking selling their products for that's always that that's always such a bitter fucking thing to see I hate seeing that and it's like wait a minute like I could buy this shit year round through Amazon for the same price and you're talking about this is you know and here we are we're getting a sale from screen factory that's just only happens every once in a while and the prices ain't even that fucking good sometimes they are sometimes they aren't i'm sure for all you guys who collect boutique especially screen factory stuff you've definitely participated in sales that were really good and we've had one here and there um uh, we don't get them like we used to but sometimes we get these sales where we're looking at them and being like dude like there's only like a fucking dollar difference between this and what amazon's charging right now and sometimes you can just even get it cheaper on Amazon, and especially if you're a Prime member and shit like that, get free shipping and all that. But enough about Amazon. I try to stay off of there. I don't try to buy shit from them unless it's such a significant difference. Um, I am guilty of that, just like everybody else. I do. I have to. I look forward to saving money here and there when I can because that just helps me add more shit to the collection in the future, and I can put that money towards something else. Guys, I hope you do enjoy the video. I hope you did enjoy the video. I know it was a hell of a long video. We're sitting here an hour and two minutes. Uh, but guys, thanks for watching the video. Just sitting here hearing me ramble about what I bought during the sale. I did this as well for the vinegar syndrome. Kind of went over everything I got. Um, definitely, I'm interested in hearing what everybody else got. You're watching this video. Hit me up in the comment section. Let me know what you got during the sale. If you don't want to tell me everything, I understand that. Um, just tell me something that you're very interested in. Um, something you got that you're, you know, you're definitely going to watch as soon as you get like that that film in the bunch that you probably maybe in a couple stacks that you bought whatever that one thing just like i'm going to watch that first let me know just let's discuss anything about severin that you want to like i said guys i'm I really you can basically say i'm brand new to severin i know you see all this shit on my shelves and you're just like you really never heard of severin before i've heard of them i got a stack of stuff right here uh two box sets and about seven eight releases um but you know this sale definitely will change that. I'll be getting a big ass box and I'll have a respectable, nice amount of Severn stuff I can put on the shelf and I can really dig in and explore their company. So, uh, guys, hit me up in the comment section. Let's talk about it. Don't matter if it's Severn related. Hit me up. Tell me what you got. Is there anything I should definitely be on the fucking lookout for that's one of your favorite releases from Severn? Hit me up. Let me know. Is there a soundtrack on one of those releases that you're just like, hey, man, like, even, you know, I know a lot of people don't pay attention to the soundtracks and the releases, but this fucking soundtrack sounds incredible. Love the music of it. Let me know. Hit me up. But guys, that's going to do it for this video. Until next time, stay safe and be careful.